Hello and welcome to the Dietrich Gamecast. I'm Jeremy, back with uh, my fantasy draft series of MLB The Show 20. This is episode 4. Uh, last episode, in case you missed it, was opening day. And I suffered a, uh, a pretty devastating loss, unfortunately. 10-6. Uh, uh, you may notice at the top left there, Pedro Baez. Infinite ERA. You don't like to see that. Uh, thank you again for the comments. Got a couple. Uh, Kenny Bravo chipping in about the uh, pitch meter that I don't need to fill it up all the way. That that burns extra stamina. That's a good point. I feel like that rings a bell a bit. Almost like I made the same mistake a previous year and then forgot about it. But thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Kershaw did throw some like 100 pitches though. so I guess it would have been more helpful for the bullpen. Anyway, so we're going to sim to... I was thinking, because I'm going to play one game a month, I would do national broadcasts. So I'm aiming for this Saturday Cleveland game. So we're going to sim up to that this episode. And then uh, you never know. If the team keeps flying like this, might need to make some lineup changes, some other things. So first let's sim uh, the rest of this Pittsburgh series. Okay, all right, it's a win. We're on the board. Hugh Darvish out of the bullpen with the win. Uh, he's pitching two games in a row there. Pretty exciting. Who else? Anybody else with a big performance? Three-hit game from LeMayhew. Looks like my team hit pretty well overall. Oh, no, that's Pittsburgh. What am I doing? Tampa Bay. I thought they were my team because they were all in the game last time. Uh, Peralta, four-hit game. He's just tearing the cover off it. Uh, still hit list for story, but that's it. Okay, that's not too bad. Ground and a double play for Cano. Yeah, Peralta leading the team. Very good. And this is the rubber match. It's a win, yes. James Paxton, wow, eight innings. Only giving up one earned run. Let's check this out. I probably won't go this into in-depth in, in uh, all the simulated games, but... Good to get a sense of how people are starting. Trevor Story not doing a lick and nothing. Chris Davis struggling a bit. Rondall, Blackman, Donaldson, but still early. Peralta, 615. Okay, what do we got now? We got a three game series against the Yankees. Uh, first up is Price versus Anibal Sanchez. Oh no. Yikes. David Price. Two and a third innings, 27 ERA. So it seems like pitching might be a slight uh, slight issue starting off here. Still very early, but looking a bit sketchy. Trevor Story does get on the board, though, with two hits. Peralta still leading the team despite going 0 4. Home run for Chris Davis. Good for him. Two errors for Story. That's another three error game. And a caught stealing for Story. I might, yeah. I'm still not liking Story as the leadoff guy, and that's not helping any. Eight earned runs for Price. But uh looks like he wasn't the only one. Darvish and Bass also with pretty bad efforts. Baez at least getting down from infinite there. Pitching three innings. Don't really like that bullpen management, but I suppose it was a blowout. Okay, and we got Kenta Maeda starting off his season against Steven Brault. And that's a win. 3-1. Nice. Nice calm game. Six scoreless innings from Maeda. So how are we looking starter-wise? So not too many factoring into decisions. Paxton and Maeda with wins. Price with a big loss. Any highlights here? Uh, Two-hit game for Donaldson and Seager. Two RBIs for Seager. Not too bad. Even Anthony Rizzo and Yasmany Grandal chipping in with stolen bases. Okay, this is another rubber match. Oh, a critical situation. Do I dare? 1-1, one, one, bottom of the 10th. Charlie Black went up with nobody on. Let's do it. This will be a short episode otherwise, so why not? We'll just fire it up. Donnie Hart's pitching. Three and a third innings. I don't know. Three hits against. Not doing too bad, but there's been hits. Not a lost cause. 
Both teams are three and two. This is for uh, the series and the better record. And welcome to those of you just joining us today on MLB Network. No outs. Here we go. Right so I guess I got to check what's going on with my bullpen. I want to warm someone up. Let's warm up. Trevor May. Ooh, he's given up a lot of hits so far. Got to work on those numbers. But here we go. Wasn't really expecting to play today, but I think this is good. Let's see. Maybe I'll perform better in this sort of scenario. Eric Law and Asuna warming up. That's not too bad. Decent bullpen for the Yankees, it looks like. Kelly Blackman. Oh, lifts one out. Oh, I was getting I was getting hyped for a second there. Didn't say anything, but you know. He's getting slightly hyped. Chris Davis struggled. Except for that one home run. He's been really struggling. 0 for 4 with a strikeout today. Can't really have your DH hit uh, 133. That's not a winning formula. That's not really either. That's on me. We're back in our uh, home field here. Uh oh, they just said Chris Davis is trying to avoid the golden sombrero, which uh, educated viewers will know means four strikeouts. So that's. That's a scenario we really got to avoid. Ooh, it was close to happening right there. They fitted it on him, but didn't quite make the sale yet. I swung really late there. That was just desperation, trying not to get golden sombreroed. Oh, there we go. That's what I like to see. Big single. If you're looking for big singles in your area, there's one. Chris Davis. That's got to have his average up to something like 150 now. Who do, who do we got here? Oh, it's Anthony Rizzo. This is a guy who could win the game. Oh, not hacking at stuff like that. Yikes. Now, maybe there's a pinch run opportunity here. I think I might put someone in for Chris Davis at first there. Who do I have? Billy Hamilton's already in the game, so there's been a couple substitutions it looks like, because Dyson and Hamilton are both in. That was kind of my idea, so I think I'm going to have to stick with Chris Davis. Hopefully that's not a portent of any injuries in this game. No! Should have canceled that check. Reverse check. That was just horrible. I just lightly, lightly tapped the button. It was too much. Alright, falling off there. At least made contact. Had to fight that one off. I'm kind of liking this critical situation thing. Gets the blood flowing. Oh, that's a check. That's a check. Come on. Yeah, there you go. That's a smart guy right there. No, I was looking too late. That hurts. Okay, I guess I'm pitching. George Springer having a big game. Home run double and an RBI. Okay. Catcher is calling for a cutter here. Who do I have on, anyway? You uh, Darvish. You Darvish getting a lot of action. Looks like he can go another inning. I really didn't like the look of that one. Springer versus Darvish. 8 for 20. Two home runs. That would have been useful to know a pitch ago. That's a beauty. Got him in the palm of my hand now. Oh. 
You. Pretty happy with that, if I do say so myself. Nice. All right. What do we got now? Still don't really understand that screen fully. And it's been a few years. I should really understand it more. It is Jose Ramirez. Okay. Oh, let's go. Yeah, just a nice casual. Run through the M there. Ryan Zimmerman, 3 for 14 this season. Not getting a lot of action so far. Throwing meter. Oh, I remembered about the throwing meter in the nick of time. I didn't really remember about the not filling out the pitcher, pitching meter thing, but I was feeling good. Didn't want to interrupt myself. Cano hitting 227, so he's uh, really slowed down since I was playing as him. Ooh! Oh, that, well, that one's looking positive. That was stunned. That one, don't need to be swinging at it at all. Too aggressive here. Alright, well, made them do a little work anyway. Oh, that was actually closer than I thought. It's tough when you enter in the 10th. Because you're immediately hyped up from the, for the start of a game, and you're hyped up for this big tie game overtime. At least I got a take there. Who's this? Is this? Yeah, this is story. Okay. Oh, I was I got under that one unfortunately, but at least it looked dramatic. This could be another long episode. You never know. I mean, I, you guys know because you saw the video length. But I don't know. That was a good check. I was thinking before I sat down to do it, so nice. It won't be uh, over an hour again. It's pretty tough talking for that long. But it's fine. I'll get used to it more as we uh, move forward here. Well, that was a little bit inside for my taste. Need to back that up a little bit. 3-0. see if I can work a walk here. I lied. I did a power swing. Oh, that was a bit tempting. Okay, full count. I felt good about the second swing. The first one was just irredeemable. No! Too early on the change. All right, more baseball. Here's Nick Ahmed. Really not doing anything so far in this game or the season. I know the feeling. And there we go. Easy as cake. Eating a cake, specifically. Baking a cake is actually quite difficult. I don't know if anybody has seen that Bake Off show, but there's a lot of stress involved. There we go, Jared Dyson getting in a little work. Upside of this is, uh, I guess we'll see Dyson and Billy Hamilton at bats, potentially. Which, that's exciting. I should put that in the title. Here's Yang Gomes hitting 91. And he fouls this one off. Three for eight against Dervish. There we go, Cano with a good play. All right, bottom of the 12th. That sounds like a good time to finish this up. Calvera clock coming in. ERA 5.61 last year. It's uh, not hugely positive. Jared Dyson had his first hit of the year in this game. One for three in this game, one for seven in the season, and picked up a run. 
Uh, his batter's eye looks a bit smaller. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good. That's a swing and a miss. Shouldn't have swung, shouldn't have missed. There's another example, just in case you're wondering. I was kind of considering bunting in this situation, but I think I might do that with Billy Hamilton. And we'll spoil that one. Come on, Dyson, you could be hitting two for eight. That's 250. Nothing to sneeze at. Whoa! Is there some bad blood? A lot of empty seats here. Oh, that's fair enough. It's probably pretty late. It's the 12th inning. I just got to keep fouling pitches here. That's what everybody's here for. There we go. That one's got a little bit of loft. Okay, got six pitches out of Barracle. Okay, Billy Hamilton. 0 for 1. That's not a bad check, eh? Yes, there we go. Probably this is his first hit of the year, I suspect. He's my guy, that's why I called him up. Alright. Let's just steal. I'm feeling good. Oh, let's pitch out. Well, I did the obvious thing. You know, thinking that was too obvious. It was just the regular amount of obvious. Oh well, at least I got a hit. And now it's just time to swing for the fences here with Charlie Blackman. Ah, it's tough to connect those power swings. Ooh, a nice pick off the ground there. It's a bit weird complimenting the AI's plays. Makes more sense when I'm complimenting Joseph's plays. But still going to do it. Here's Tommy Edmond hitting 3 for 22. Didn't like the look of that. 4 for 11 against Dervish. These guys are all really good against Dervish. Also, I've been warming up that guy in my bullpen yeah, for quite a while. Let's get him ready and waiting. Trevor May. It was a good, well-executed cutter. He just didn't bite. Oh, no. Against the shift. Oh, he's got good speed. That's a double for sure. Well, that's bad. It's really bad news bears there. Tommy Pham, 5 for 26. Today he's 0 for 4 with a strikeout. I'm thinking maybe it's Trevor May time. Yeah, let's do it. Good effort by Darvish. Can't be upset with that. Okay, what does May got here? Four seam, slider, 12 6 curve, and change up. Catcher's calling a slider. That's what I'm going to do. Uh-oh. Well, one scores. At least it stayed in the park. That's really unfortunate. Tommy fan. I had him last year. He wasn't really that good for me. Okay, bad uh, start by Trevor May. Let's see if we can recover here. Oh, hanging those sliders out over the plate time and again. 
at least we'll get this one. Well, I'm fairly close to get Okay, sacrifice fly opportunity here. Let's see if we can prevent it. Nice. It's George Springer. Oh, I should probably walk him. Where's the fun in that? Oh, they could have given me that one, honestly. There we go. Doing two. And there we go. That's exactly what we want. Bigger issue is I'm going to need to score at least a run here in this inning. And I haven't shown much threat of doing that so far. Ramirez hitting 407. Yikes, right down the middle. That's not where I was aiming. Ramirez only hitting 100 with runners in scoring position. Very small sample size, of course. And it's quickly 0 and 2. 0 and 2, let's finish it. 0 and 2, here it is. Yeah, at least it was it was on the edge and not in the middle again. Another one sent foul. Okay, I'm just gonna throw one. A bit wild. It was a little bit wild. There we go. Bit of a generous call, but I will always, always, always take that. Roberto Osuna. What did I do to deserve this? I guess it's a closed situation. Fair enough. Chris Davis, just the guy I want up here. Hitting 187. Davis 2 for 10 against Asuna with 5 strikeouts. That's just great. Really awesome. Okay, 2-0. I feel like if you're facing Asuna, just stand still and hope for the best. Ah. That would have been a good check, too. But it's just a perfectly placed pitch. He's tough. Oh, my timing had just been better on that. I had it marked perfectly. Full count. Three balls and two right, full count. Base runner would be a big deal. Ooh, that got striped. Let's go. Chris Davis. Second home run of the year. That was a, that was a contact swing. That's a contact swing home run. A real bomb from Chris Davis. That's why I got him. Let's go race. Very good. Now let's just, uh, we got him rattled. Let's just finish this thing off. He's already got a blown save. Let's stick him with a loss. Here's Anthony Rizzo. That's a fast pitch. Boy. Three for five. Three singles for Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo always reminds me of uh, Rizzo from the Muppets. An underrated, uh, more modern Muppet. One and two now is that one's fouled off. Instrumental in uh, Muppets from Space. Which is, of course, a classic. Rizzo, oh, unlucky. That was a perfect ground. And that's not me saying that, that's the game. And also me. Here's Josh Donaldson. Whoa. Just back that up a bit. That's a, that's a hard one. I want to catch that on the elbow. All right. I, I was concerned about that one. I thought maybe I overcommitted. Whoa. Just a bit late. And a bit under. And a bit to the left. Now here it comes. Didn't like the look of that one at any point. All right, three and one. I can be picky here. Just 
Couldn't catch it. That was the pitch I was looking for. Though. I was late on his off speed. I gotta pick it up here. Oh, it didn't need to swing at that. I think I was fortunate to contact that, honestly. Ah, he's out of the zone. But I put up a good fight anyway. He's got some pitches on him. Not that I think I'll have him go more than an inning. Cano trying to break an 0 for 5 here. Check. No! I did hold it for a while. That's fair enough. Still not happy about it. Alright. It was a close one. Oh, under it again. I need to be moving the stick more. Because I saw it. Uh, let's play some more baseball. What do you guys say? Okay, we got Zimmerman, Ahmed, and Luplo. Coming up. Luplo, Luplo. Something like that. It's a cool name, either way. Zimmerman hitting 200. Uh, Trevor May's not really a uh, long relief guy, so let's warm up. Oliver Perez, who also isn't, but hopefully it'll be done by that point. Oh, I don't like first throwing those. Nothing good happening there. He's throwing some heat. Not quite a Zuna heat, but pretty close. That curve low doesn't do it. Oh, there we go. He can't handle the heat. It's been removed from the kitchen. I think Ahmed with an 0 for 5. Seems like it might have been kind of a boring game. Of course, now in the extra innings, it's heated up. But it was 1-1. Okay, 3-0. Oh, not really liking this against an 0 for 5 guy. Here's the challenge pitch. Let's give him another one. Oh, uh, it's not quite good enough for a throw. Oh, he got him! A beauty! Wow, that, that might be Sports Center stuff, honestly. Here's Luplo, it's Luplo. Don't want anybody losing any sleep over that. It's Luplo. Oh, that totally misplaced pitch. Had him 0-2. It's frustrating. Felt like I was cruising there. Okay, I'm a bit tired here. I think it might be Perez time. Ah, no. This guy struggles against righties. One more. One more of that. Right, I'm not supposed to be filling it up. There we go, I didn't fill it. There's one. Baby steps. Boom. Oh, that K. Mmm. Pure premium. Where's that even mean? I don't know, I'm not an orange juice expert. Trevor Story in the 3 for 22. He's got one today. But uh, this would be a good time to sort of endear himself to the home crowd. At least those who are still there. To be fair, it might be getting uh, around midnight at this point. No, what was that? That never looked good. I really wish they'd just take Azuna out. He's not supposed to pitch multiple innings. Yikes. Trevor Story. Seemed like a pretty unfortunate story right now. We got Grandal here. 0 for 5 with a strikeout today. 
action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Man, I'm really not handling the slurve very well. As opposed to all the other pitches, which I've been killing. Ah, that was my pitch. That hurts. Good thing Chris Davis really, uh, really saved me there. That contact swing power, that was garbage. All right, just need a home run here. Oh, it's Jared Dyson. I can make some sort of vacuum joke about him sucking. But, uh, need to stay positive. I guess Dyson makes other stuff. Just those weird fans with no blades. Whereas here we've got a stadium with no fans. That was a check. That was definitely a check. You don't even need to check on that check. It's a checklist check. Maybe there's a Dyson hair dryer as well. In case anybody was wondering. But I don't have any hair dryer jokes. Popped up. Popped up. That was pretty, uh, pretty un unassuming for an offensive effort there. Hey, Tommy Edmund had a double. It's Perez time. I should be saying it properly. It's Perez. I took Spanish classes. I should use them. This is a drag bunt situation. Let's see if it happens. It'll probably work because I'm still not that good at field. There you go. Not bad from Perez. Now I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right. Falling down a rabbit hole. Speaking Spanish, but not well enough to have any confidence in what I'm saying. There we go, the sinker. Just grabs the bottom. Oh, here we go. Let's go, Billy Hamilton. Yes. Nobody's fast. I mean, 0 for 6. Probably hoping this game will end soon. Well, that one just slightly misses. Perez is my last uh, reliever with full stamina, so hopefully he can put in a couple innings if necessary. Uh-oh, 3-0. Who do we got coming up? Springer, that's not good. Alright, full count. Oh, pretty fortunate there. That was hit well. But it's a great inning for Harris. Okay. Not a whole lot of hits here for 15 innings. Well, 14 and a half. Feel free to take your 14th to uh, 15th inning stretch or whatever. Colin Pokey? Poach? There's lots of options there. Here's Billy Hamilton. I got a hit with him earlier. Oh, maybe I have another one? No. It was pretty good, though. Charlie Blackman, 2 for 5 with an RBI. Only hitting 217 on the season. He's due for one. Splitter works out a little bit. I think this is on MLB Network. 
I remember seeing it correctly. So, uh, hopefully they didn't have any shows planned. 15 innings of, uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Ugh. I actually like the Rays quite a bit. Don't know why, really. I guess they're more appealing to me than the, uh, the Marlins in some ways. Though I do like the Marlins' home run sculpture. As I've said previously on this channel. Oh, here we go. Yeah. A little wall ball double. Beauty. All right, one out. I would have preferred no out so I could do a little bunt sacrifice run. But this will have to do. Give me, just give me a minute. Got to compose myself here. Didn't like that one. Can Chris Davis win the game? He was instrumental in tying it. 2 for 6 with a home run and a single. 4 for 17 on the year. He's really rescued his uh, batting average today. Oh, I was really tempted, but it was too risky. Especially with the 2-0 count. Oh, thought I could have a rip there. I moved the zone slightly up, which is a bit of an issue. All right, three and one. Rizzo on deck. Oh, well, could have been worse. Runner at third, two outs. It is two outs, right? Yeah. Took a minute to update there. All right, Rizzo. Hitting 333. Three for six in the game. All he needs is one more, and this is over. Wouldn't that be nice? Ah. Rizzo. Hitting 1,000 with runners in scoring position. Please. I like those odds. One and one. Not really hitting the zone with too much frequency here. Oh, no. No. That's just rotten. That was out of the zone, too. All right, 16th inning. George Springer here. Gotta warm somebody else in the bullpen. Uh, guess it's time for Anthony Bass. Uh, let's warm up Dulo. Has he pitched a lot this year? Is there a way to see that? Anyway, Dulo. He's the one with the most stamina. Surprised Springer didn't take a rip at that one. He did take a rip at that one. Okay, and we're going to go for a slider for the kill and blow here. That, that really slid. Here we go. Got him. Boom, boom. Not gonna lose this one. Even though I have to stay up all night. Jose Ramirez, one for six. Still hitting 393. This must be his worst game of the year. Look at that slider right at the corner. Nothing he can do with that. Oh, come on. No. Not quite quick enough. If that was Billy Hamilton, he would have gotten it done. A yeah, little burner outside. Not too bad. There we go. Second time's the charm. Had to put a little bit of a sink on it. 
Ryan Zimmerman, 3 for 16, 1 for 6 with a double. Oh yeah, a little low ball. Nice. All right, let's go win this game. Bottom of the 16th here. Josh Donaldson went for six of the double. It's a popular batting line today. Ah, unfortunately out. I think with the length of this, I might uh, call this our game for April. And then do a longer sim episode next time. Let me know if you're uh, okay with that plan. Here's Robinson Cano. No, come on. Cano, you need to pick it up here. He was the big star in the first game I played. You can see how quickly things change. No. Lack of focus there. Trevor Story. I'll say it again. Could use a hit. I think I'm suffering from mental fatigue here. Got to refocus. A ball and a strike to Trevor Story. Bases are empty here with two men out. Starts to go around here. Looks like a pretty tasty soda out there in the outfield there. That big orange billboard. Or maybe it's red. Anyway, it looks pretty good. How about a 17th inning? I could use a 17th inning. Here's Nick Ahmed. He's got an 0 for 6. Throw a slider. Nice. Not well executed, but perfect result. It's probably be the last inning for uh, Paris. He's looking focused. Wow, I need to be that focused. Okay, I need to just sort of have the same face as him. Face of pure focus. Alright, that worked out. Dyson. Vacuuming up that fly ball. There we go. I got there eventually. Luplo, 2 for 6 on the day. 4 for 13 on the season. I'm going to throw a sinker here. Got a little high. A little high for the sinker there. Oh, tried to catch the outside corner. Almost got there. Going back to the fastball. Okay, got him on the ropes here. Uh oh. Don't like the look of that. Nice. Took the hit in, into the wall, but it was worth it. That. Don't know why they keep the circle on him. Guess they're showing how much I was pressing the stick. Road efficiency 99.6%. I might as well be in esports. Here's Jan Gomes. Perez is going to need a couple days off after this. Luckily, I think my team has a day off tomorrow. Ooh, these are starting to go pretty far. I'd be happy for this to be over. And it is. All right, bottom of the 17th. Thank you for hanging in here with me. 
I guess everybody watching knew what they were getting into, though. They can see the length of the video. I do not have those powers of prediction. That's many ground all 0 for 6. Could use a hit here. Some guys don't get 6 at bats in their whole career. That was a pretty fortunate call there. It's a ball. Nice. Rundall's 1 for 7 against Lorenzen. Maybe we can work a walk here. I seem to recall Rondal being close to a walk earlier in the extra innings. Nope. Didn't see a lot of hustle there from Rondall, honestly. Just hoping for more hustle. Dyson fighting to not be 1 for 10 on the season. A lot of choppers. It's like an episode of American Chopper. Actually, there's never really that many choppers per episode. It's like one, maximum two. It was more uh, Paul Sr. and Paul fighting. Oh, yes. That looks like a beauty. Yes! Billy Hamilton! It couldn't be better. A storybook ending. Exceptional. See, I knew. I knew. Yeah, he was the guy. It was predestined. Billy Hamilton. I'm tempted to just put him in the starting lineup now over Naquin. What a beauty. Look at that. I'm feeling like that. I'm not jumping up and down because, you know. I'm in my living room at 3 a.m., but I feel like that on the inside. Boom. That felt good. The other home run didn't feel that good. I think because it was a contact swing. Boom. There's that soda. Excellent. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Dietrich Gamecast for more pro pro play like that beauty home run and uh, i'll see you next time we'll do some more simming we'll sim the whole month of april should be a fun one all right i'll see you next time thank you for watching